Welcome back everybody to the wonderful Thrival server. I'm standing here in this uh, rather claustrophobic area. This is uh, my AFK area for my for my spawner traps. This is where I stand before I collect my levels. Now, there's some new signs here. It looks a bit different than it used to. It says uh, stand with the back with your uh, back to the ladders. Check. And uh, 10 minutes and 30 seconds of standing in this spot will give you 30 levels. Now. I did some testing to uh, to gauge that, and uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go down now. I've been standing there for uh, for a bit more than 10 minutes now. Um, I had to. I had some stuff that I had to do, so I just I, le I left my computer on and logged in right here. So um, I actually forgot um, <clears throat> to hide chat just in case before I started recording. Um, but. You take your uh, your instant health potion here. Like I said, I've been I've been AFK um, for a little bit more than 10 minutes and 30 seconds, so we should get over 30 levels here, and we already have eight to start. So, and you know, with the health potions, it makes everything go a lot faster. If I hop into F5 here, I've kind of got like a little, almost like a mohawk at times of of XP, and we're about to hit 30 levels and, and speed right past that. So. Yeah, that's a bit. That'll give you a headache if you look at it for long enough. I'll get out of that mode. Just keep it in F5, and we're good. So 35 levels with, with maybe a couple more there. I'm gonna just clean up our inventory and let the stuff despawn down here. I don't need any of it. And then we'll go up to the surface, and uh, I'll actually do an enchantment um, on camera, and also. Uh, it's a bit later here um, when I'm recording this. It's late at night. It's not too late, but it is uh, later than I normally record. So I, I'm sure I sound a bit tired. But but this is uh, this is one of the few times I've had to record lately. Also, um, one of the new things um, that I'm playing with, uh, we'll get to Z Corp in a minute. I'm playing with a, a mod and a trade use server owner has been pretty loose about letting people use mods. Um, it is a purely vanilla server for the most part, so so, so real heavy mods are, are probably not allowed, even though no one's really tried it. Um, but I am using the mod uh, called uh, Better Sprinting. Now, that's just because a lot of times, um, I don't know if anyone else has noticed this in an SMP server or even single player, that when you try to sprint, you double tap W, uh, you kind of get like going like this. The server doesn't register that you tried to sprint, and uh, that's just—it's been so annoying for me. So now, what the, what this does is, if you go into my settings, uh, where's the controls? Got better sprinting right here. It adds this little option, and now you can see um, this is the really important one. Sprint toggle is F. So now, when I log on, all I have to do is print, press F once, and then once I tap W, just just press regular W to go forward. And you're always sprinting. You never have to press F again. My sounds are, are really low. That's a bit high. So, um, so <clears throat> I'm sure that, that that mod is just fine. Now, um, we're gonna we're gonna do our enchant here. And I'm gonna put it on a pick. A pickaxe. <laughs> I've noticed something uh, <laughs> kind of funny about about my Minecraft uh, videos when I upload them. Every time I upload, after I'm done, after it's all processed, it says um, that your video's been detected as being shaky. Uh, would you like us to fix that? Now, I don't do that because um, YouTube auto fixes are, are really bad, actually. Um, I wouldn't recommend them. But And I've noticed that's because I, I, I do like this. and. That might seem weird for a lot of you guys. Like I, I just always sprint jump everywhere, and that's just—it doesn't seem out of the ordinary to me because that's just my style. Um, but I realize it might sound seem kind of weird to you guys, so I'm gonna try to limit how much I do that. Um, so we are gonna do a pick here, and wouldn't you know it? Oh boy, if I Mr. Osmo was on right about now, he'd love to see this one. So, whoa. Um, so, I've recently started a quest for a Silk Touch enchantment, and I can't believe I just got it on camera. Um, just in the last hour, 
Uh, I've done all this just about an hour. I've done. I just wasted a bunch of picks. They're not bad enchantments. I'll still use them, but but now we've got our silk touch. I also need to get one on a shovel. Um, but that was the first silk touch enchantment I've ever gotten <laughs> on this server in probably upwards of 50 enchantments on picks and shovels. So I'm more excited than my voice leads on uh, leads on about that one. So um, I actually don't have any of my gear on me at the moment, and. Um, I need to grab my looting sword as well uh, for something that we've got planned. Shouldn't need an axe. Uh, there are chickens all over here. I can't tell where they are. I need to bring Cubsy Craft over here to, to kill them all. Um, so, uh, also, uh, where's, where's them boots? So I've got these 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 boots here. They're feather falling four, protection four, and unbreaking three. Probably about as good of boots as you could you could ask for. And I got those um, from my Mr. Osmo. He um, he bought three stacks of pearls for that, and and I'm all up for uh, for bartering. You might call it. Um, so I accepted that deal of three pearls for those uh, those those boots. Really nice boots. Um. So there's some new stuff going on over here now. Obviously, I've added a couple levels to Z Corp, and um, I've pretty much maxed out how high I'm gonna go with that. There's one more level I need to add, and um, it's a special level, different from the rest. So, but this this large building over here, um, I believe I mentioned. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I believed that I mentioned. Uh, oh, I'm doing that sprint jumping thing again. I believe that I mentioned that Toxima Industries was moving into this this flat plot of land, and um, I'm glad that they did not build with jungle wood. They decided to build with uh, with some snow. So this is obviously not finished. They've got plenty of work to do here. Um, I've given them some tips on how to, to purify it up, and I hope they take those tips. But um, I think it'll look interesting in the end. And stop sprint jumping. Stop it. <laughs> Um, but there's one thing that's missing up front here. Um, if you watched the last video, we got a villager. Um, I named him Sheldon in the video. Now I went back and looked. Uh, I just went to Traduce's channel and I noticed that he did have the same skin as Traduce. So, uh, oh. um, so I appropriately named him Traduce and he was appropriately killed slash released from my custody. Um, after I logged out, I logged back in uh, the next day and came over here and there was a tunnel to get out of his his home, um, his little shack here, and he was gone. He was long gone. He hit the road. Um, and <clears throat> no one has yet uh, owned up to uh, releasing trade use. And I'm convinced that it's half of Toxima Industries, that being Toxic Squirrel. Uh, I killed his dog, his dog Randall. So, you know, he hasn't admitted it yet. I'm, I'm sure of it, though. I'm sure of myself. So, um, but it's not all bad news that Traduce is gone. Um, it is sad to say goodbye to Traduce. But, you know, um, wait, let me make room. I gotta go get my bow, I just, I just realized. But we'll go into my, my brewing room, brewing, eh, that wasn't words. We'll go into my brewing room first, and, uh, you can see we've got a little friend in here. Now, he ain't no trade use, but I'm Mr. Osmo, the second half of uh, Team Toxmo. Found this little guy when he was walking around around my base, and uh, we converted him as well. He was a zombie villager. Now he is a, uh, a brown trade use, so I'm gonna I'm gonna call him trade use, and I'm gonna say that uh, he's just wearing his uh, his Sunday clothes, his good clothes. He's wearing the brown, so the white. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So I've already done a few trades. I've gone through a few trades here. Now my understanding is that. Um, once you go through quite a few trades, there, you get to a trade that that is an infinite trade, um, meaning that I mean a regular trade you can go through seven or eight times until the villager no wants no longer wants to do that trade with you. Um, and oh, that's gonna be really loud. Whoops! 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 Um, just turn it off. <laughs> Who cares about stats? Does anyone actually use their stats? Uh, these look, for the most part, fully grown, so I'm gonna kill some of these off while I'm talking. Now, um, my understanding of villager trading is that uh, you go through quite a few um, 
this looting? Yeah. And okay. You go through quite a few trades and you do those trades seven or eight times and then he opens a new trade and eventually you'll get to one where he will trade that trade an infinite amount of times or or at least quite a few um that's a basic understanding that I've gotten um, actually from guys on the server. Um, I actually don't want any of these eggs. I'm sure free they would shun me for getting rid of all this these eggs, but I have no use for them or for others. Um, so you might have noticed that the, the most recent trade I've let me go get some carrots. The most recent trade I've, I've acquired is I think um, I think it's 16 raw chicken. Gets me one emerald. So um, I would like to get some more emeralds. Um, and obviously that'll be easier. God, I, <laughs> obviously that'll be easier. Um, when I get a villager breeder going and everything, um, and then I can get emeralds in bulk. But for right now, I just gotta do it all through this one villager. So I gained some emeralds on the first trade, lost some, gained some more, and I'm gonna try to gain quite a few with this next trade. Yep, it's actually 17, not 16. And you just do it like that, and we get many, many emeralds. Actually, four. Now, let's see if that'll open up his new trade. Yep, it has particles and him sprinting around. That's what that means, and I was wrong. What's going on here? Alright, so I'll have to wait for the new trade. I'm not, <coughs> I'm not fully sure about how that works. But that's fine. That's just fine. Um, so I was going to do some building on, on, uh, on the Z Corp building. Uh, we're going to add the last level today, but let me store these emeralds. But um, I don't think there's going to be enough time to really make it worth it. So let me just... There's my bow. Throw that away. Um, I suppose we could, we could always get started. If we have the materials. We do have some clay, if that'll be enough. Uh, followed by some stone. And uh, we'll need some white wool now. You realize, uh, sorry, you'll notice I have now an assortment of wools. Um, and uh, that's not that's not for pranking, it's actually for uh, for a future episode. My plan is for it to be my next episode, actually, so. So you'll see that soon. I just wanted to come over here. I've been messing around with some redstone. And, um, just in case you noticed this out of the corner of the video. Just a little door that I've, I've placed a nice orange, orange-colored dock in. I don't know what to put in here yet. Uh, I'll think of something creative, but. Just messing with some redstone. There we go. Um, redstone's something that I like. I'd like to get into more, because um, I'm I'm pretty skilled at it when I'm um, when I really get into it. I was into it a while ago, um, but I've I've stopped with with messing around with redstone. Um, so I need plenty of slabs here, I guess. Oops. And uh, oh, what is up here? There we go. This might actually be over overkill in the slabs. <clears throat> I think it's definitely overkill, actually. Um, got me some pearls. I got them. Might as well use them. Oops, I think I need that clay. Um, let me get to the top level here. There's, um, now there's ten levels. Uh, my plan... Even there's nothing to listen to, I'm, I'm bothered by my sound being off. Um, my plan was to have uh, was to have 12, 12 stories, 12 levels, and I, I've made 10, and I've, I've I've only made 10 because looking at a distance, I think that if I went any higher, it would take away um, it would take away from the effect of our top level, and uh, we're just gonna start it today. Um, but I think 
it'll become clear when you see the. I didn't finish this up here. Ooh, it's a bit loud. I didn't know it made a noise to place play. Um, I think you'll see what I mean by take away from it. If if you're too far away, I think it would have a a poor look. Um, oops. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. Of course, everything I build, I build ahead of time in a single-player world. Um, just to make sure it, it looks it looks good, in my opinion. Did I bring more stone? I did. Um, now, building with... Uh, Building with these clay blocks, I almost said blocks. Building with these clay blocks, um, and uh, I'm going to turn better sprinting off. Just being up here it makes me nervous. Um, building with these clay blocks, I've noticed that. Uh, actually, I don't know if I've done this right at all. I've really, uh, I've really become excited for hardened clay blocks, which comes the next uh, update for Minecraft 1.6, I believe is the update. Um, this should be right, what I'm doing right here. It should be. Um, hardened clay blocks are, are going to be a, a big game changer for builders like myself, guys that like to build a lot. I think it's going to be... Um, it's going to be one of the heavier used blocks, but uh, from what I've seen in builds, and I haven't actually played on a snapshot uh, with hardened clay, so I haven't been able to mess around with it myself. But from what I've seen, it, it's it's a block that I mean, because you you can stain the hardened clay to to a few different colors. Um, I think any color that you can make a dye for. Um, but it, it from what I've seen, a lot of people. Um, aren't really blending their colors nicely, uh, if that makes sense. <laughs> it's a block that you need to you need to plan which colors you use with which. Um, I'm really looking forward to it, even more than uh, horses in the upcoming update, which might be blasphemy to some <laughs> to some Minecraft players. But why is this pick not taking any damage? Yeah. Oh, there we go. I know it has some breaking three, but I figured it would take damage on any hit. Um, breaking three, yeah. Um, oops. So, as far as E Corp goes, I've had a, an application <laughs> to join, I guess you would call it, um, 8480, 8480 Games on, uh, on YouTube. Yeah, that uh, asked to join Z Corp, and I'm dropping frames like crazy. Sorry about that. Um, he had asked to join Z Corp, and um, I'm not opposed to the idea of letting other people on. Um, it's not really a problem with me. I've already let uh, Toxum Industries move in to build uh, to build their base here. So it's 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 not a a bad thing. Something that'd be opposed to doing. It's just. Um, as far as letting people help me with what I do, I like to do what I do. Watch this. Oh. And of course, it's not, okay, there we go. There we go. Pretty much one hit kill. Um, I need to get a better angle on this on this, on this place to make sure I'm, I'm building it right so far. Um, but when it comes to building stuff, and, and oh, that's not good. Oh, okay, we're safe. Um, when it comes to building stuff and, and working stuff out, I like to do it all on my own. I'm I really am a solo uh, a solo guy. Um, when it comes to that stuff, when it comes to really playing the game, I guess even um, I've gone silent. <laughs> Let me think here. I just gotta think about the building real quick. One second, guys. Yeah, I, I think this is gonna work alright. 
Um, let me go up there. I'm gonna go back up to the top. Uh, make sure I don't throw this pearl by a creeper. I've done that on numerous occasions. <laughs> it's bad news. Um, pearl. Oh, can you throw pearls through glass? I got that on video. You can throw pearls through glass panes. No, you can't. I don't know. That was, that was glitchy. Very glitchy. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go up top here and just place some more clay, basically, and then uh, we'll wrap this thing up. Because um, that's about all I've got time for. And then uh, the, the final layer will be finished by, by, by the next episode. I, I can't I can't remember if it was clay or stone brick I need, I need to place next, but regardless, I can always go back and, and tear it down. Um, let's see how much clay I have now. The hardened clay means that I need to I need to gather a bunch before the update. Um, before everyone else wants to get their hands on it as well. It's uh it's, it's pre planning right there. This is difficult. I should have thought of this before. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to end it off here. Um, the next episode, this, this top level will be done. And I'm pretty excited about it, so we'll get this done. And I've already got the plan for the next video, so we can uh, I'll hash out a new video uh, probably the day. The day that I, I upload this, I'll already have another one recorded. So that's good news. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, it's been it's been an okay episode, <laughs> um, in my opinion. So um, make sure you you go uh, watch some of the other Thrival members, as always. And uh, thanks again for watching. Bye, guys.